So we'll get Lethemir in to see how he can do against Justin. Because Justin is probably the best in the business right now for air dribbles. But Lethemir, for anybody who's watched Lethemir 1v1 on stream before, he loves to air dribble every once in a while as well. Um, and defensively, this is going to be very, very interesting. Lethemir pops into my head when I was thinking... Air, unlimited boost air dribble 1v1. Who could be good at this? You know, besides having to score air dribbles, you have to defend air dribbles. Who do I think is going to be good at defending them? I think Lethemir might. If anybody can keep out the crazy air dribbles that Justin has, it might be this man. But we'll see. Oh, wait. I better tell Lethemir. By the way, Leth, it's one possession each, of course. Just in case you didn't know. Here's Looks like he's aware. Because Floris, of course, we started off one of these and he just went try hard. I was like, are you serious, Floris? It's one possession each, each mate. Big thanks to Juki Jukester. Oh, here we go, Justin already. Is he even flip reset? He doesn't need it. Just go on to left for the gill number one. Left's on the backboard, which, you know, for the air dribbles, doesn't, doesn't really seem like a huge advantage, so I'll let it fly. Well played by Justin. He went low there. That was really smart. Here, he's in the same Discord rigging this shh, I'm gonna say. <laughs> but yeah, thanks to the subs, the all three, three in a row prime subs, to land, Jill Pwned, and Juki Jukester. Welcome to the stream, all three of you. Much appreciation. Oh, let them over the dunk as well. This one didn't look like it was gonna be as good. C says left. So, I, I prefer Justin's position for defending against this one, but he leaned back a little bit too much. He, he wanted to kind of block it with his belly, but I think getting his nose on that would have been better. You always got to block it your nose, in my opinion. So this is 100% uh, rigged, clearly, for Justin vs. Lath. There's a limited boost, of course. Flip reset for Justin. Here comes the air dribble. He does have the dodge. It's going to be dangerous. <laughs> Lathemir's not ready for that. Air dribble into the dodge shot. For Justin, multiple contacts in the air just to throw Lathemir off. That was, that was pretty nasty. All right, Lethemir's going to try and pull off the same shot, maybe. See if he can do that, because that was pretty nuts from Justin. <laughs> Still going for kickoffs, as if it matters. That was just incredible. It was just incredible. Just incredible, as he says. Oh, is this going to be an air dribble? Yeah, oh my goodness, all right. I see you, Lethemir, I see you. I was wondering if he's going to be able to pull off an air dribble here, because he didn't start until he's almost on the ground. But look at that, one, two, and three. Scoots it in the corner. Holy cow. I mean, it's still an air dribble even if you're only two two inches off the ground, I guess. Never seen that one before. <laughs> Justin, not quite ready for it. I know a lot of you guys are going to wonder, how, how do you defend against these shots? But a big part about it is don't let it start in the first place. Good save by left. Justin slowing it down, manipulating it to the side as well. But a, a large part about stopping ceiling shots, air dribbles, anything where your opponent is pulling off something some last second manipulation of the ball. Oh my goodness, what a save! We might have had to, you know, disallow that because it's not really a, a, a ceiling shot. It, I mean, the near dribble is a ceiling shot. Yeah, the the save was karma. Yeah, air dribble thought it was ceiling. <laughs> yeah, Justin went for a, a ceiling shot air dribble and then Lethemir forgot that we were doing air dribbles. But Justin's flopped this one. He's given up the possession for free. What a save though by Justin, that was crazy. Lethemir just boomed at close range. He's still going off the ceiling into the air dribble. Pretty tricky, like very, very tricky stuff. I'm amazed they managed to pull off so many consecutively. But I'm sure as we go through all three games here, we'll see a bit of variety for Justin. He's not going off the ceiling every single time. This time a lot of side on the air dribble. Not gonna get it past Lethemir though. One of the most difficult goalkeepers to beat in the entire Rocket League scene is Lethemir. Justin, I think one of the up and coming players, someone to watch in 2018 is this young man for out of style. As far as I know, they're sticking to the same team. Going into season five of RLCS. And Squishy's video came up against Mittens and destroyed him. I don't think that should be comes as a surprise to anybody because one of those players is a world-class player. And the other is Mittens. We've got two world-class players here though and they're not able to take the lead against each other after two very early goals on either side. Alright, Lethemir, he does say, okay, I flopped my setup. I'll just give away this ball now. Gentleman's agreement that if they don't get the setup on the first try, they're just gonna give it to the other player. Oh! Justin, not quite high enough on the dunk there. What team is Leth on? He's on Ghost. 
is the carry for Ghost, statistically and just generally. What a dunk by left. Justin this time is the one who escapes narrowly. Seems to be the the main strategy here is just dunks. Just get the air dribble started and then try and block it in. This time Justin get a bit getting a bit carried away with the the spinneroonies. He wants to you know style a bit hard. Maybe he's going for backboard and then the goal. Let the mirror almost into the ceiling. Justin it exactly into the ceiling. Is he going to go from the ground here? He might. No, he's going to go to the wall instead. If I'd seen him do a, a bounce start there, cross map air dribble, I would have been, I would have been a big fan. I was, it would have been pretty cool. Is that just in? Okay, it's not just in. It's Justin. It's not in though. When will RLCS become a tier one esport? When they go international with their, their talent. Right now it's just like American focus. They need to go full international like LCS did. Or have like multiple majors in Europe, like other tier one esports do. Right now, it's just all American stuff, and you know, nobody's gonna think it's a tier one if it's all NA focus. That's how you know an esport is tier one is when EU dominate. Good save by left. That was a point, a point blank reaction time. Justin, I think if he'd fired that anywhere but exactly at left, would have had would have had a goal. Left mirror, almost a pass there. You would have. Been annoyed, I think. Oh, King Spectre, are you here to change that title if it's wrong? I think the title might not be updated because I had to change plan here. Oh, Justin, looking solid. It's been a while since we saw one of these guys score because the defense has been incredible. But what's better than incredible defense? Just incredible offense. What an air dribble, says Lathamir. It was air dribble into ceiling shot, I'd say, but I mean. If, if they want to go air dribble into dunk, air dribble into ceiling shot, air dribble into fake, air dribble into floor pinch, I'm okay with that. As long as there's an air dribble in there somewhere. That's that's my thoughts on the matter. And I'm not sure if you guys agree or disagree with me, but that's that's what I think. What part of that was an air dribble? He got multiple touches in the air. He did like hit it a few times. It was certainly more a ceiling shot, but yeah, see this, this isn't a... <laughs> <laughs> See, this isn't a, an air drill, but it, it's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, that one was... Uh... <laughs> oh, that was uh, that was pretty good. Calculated. Questionable. I mean, it's just a... It's just a bit of a fun show match. But left them here. Not happy with these air dribbles from Justin. Justin making sure that he's going to win as he knows everybody now thinks he's the best air dribbles in the world. Lethemir is not happy. He's coming for him. He's gunning for him. Of course, air dribble is usually considered two or more touches on the ball while it's in the air. You know, you pop it up. I mean... I'll just not put a score up. It's no big deal. They, they think that the two shots... That was a disaster. <laughs> Let's look at it again. We got two. Go we actually we're we're gonna have to watch through a million saves before we see uh before we see the goal. So we're just ready up. Just D says Justin. I'm not sure what that means. He didn't air dribble. Yeah, you can do. You can chain an air dribble with uh you know multiple other moves in Rocket League. If you oh I've got to tell. Leth, can you change one degree of FOV and back again, please? Because we've got um default camera for Leth. He's just going to do that right now. Thank you. It works. I, I don't know if he knows why that needs to be done, but if you've got the default camera glitch. You just need the player who's got the default camera glitch to... Oh, that's beautiful from left. Air dribble into rebound. Pretty sick. Justin was expecting him to try and squash it right under the bar. But he's just going crossbar and then rebound. That is pretty nasty. JSteveo96, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub, by the way. Much appreciated. Lots of, uh, lots of new, new subs today. Shout out to all of you guys. And shout out to all the guys who remember to come back and resub months in a row. I know it is difficult. I know it is difficult to remember. 
But as I've been saying, one one sub on Twitch is equivalent to seven hours in a row of watching adverts. I think he's really taking his game right all the way to Justin here. He's going for another crossbar there. Point blank rebound. Justin this time. Got the ball safely towards the ceiling. It's one of those times, it's one of the only game modes where it's a safe hit <laughs> to do that. Oh, did that keeper attack? Did Justin land this? Hold on a second, we need to take a look at Lethemir's POV to find out if Justin did in fact make contact or if it was just Lethemir being a bean. No, oh, Justin did make contact! I see you. Pretty nice by Justin. He missed the ball, but he smacked left pretty hard there. I think Lethemir could have been saving it as well, it's hard to know. Right, one touch, no other touch, it wouldn't have been an air dribble. Flop. Yeah, the screen. That's a, that's a hockey term, right? Screening, it's hockey, right? Or baseball. Well, I can't remember which one or the other. There you go. So Justin, air dribble into shot. Beautiful. Gets the, the setup one, and then two, three, four for the shot. I think his shot was actually the third and fourth touch, actually, after the dodge. Pretty decent stuff. Screening his basketball. Oh, that was the joke. Your head. The joke. I'm aware. We do play basketball in the UK. It was probably like my the sport I was third best at. I was best at football. Like actual football, not American football. And then probably second best at athletics and stuff like that. Running. Long distance running. Jumping. Javelin and all that stuff. But basketball, probably number three. Here. Is it just me or is the... The sound going all wonky when Justin's air dribbling. Like his, uh, it sounds like he's in a in a hair dryer or something. He's like air dribbling inside inside this tiny object. Listen, is it just me? Am I hearing things? And then uh, we can hear him again. Is that just because he's turning his back to the to the ball and then it goes like all muffled? Maybe you guys don't hear it, but I've got like a, this headset has surround sound, so it, it goes all different for me. It does sound, see it does sound weird, I told you. Lethemir's not having a good time setting up these air dribbles, he's flopped a couple of setups in a row now. You hear it? Yeah, you probably need surround sound to hear it. Because when Justin points his bum at the ball, you kind of hear it. Well played Justin, just a bit too good at the near post. Lethemir might have been expecting this to go higher, he did jump very late. Let's see. Such acceleration from Justin, it's hard to... Like, from his POV, it just looks like he's all the way into the top corner, never doubt, any doubt. But from left POV, it's much harder to tell how quickly Justin's going to arrive. Still, I think, the better player of the two, marginally. But Lethemir said the goals that really have stood out. This time, he's rebounded it off the inside of the post. He needs this extra touch to score. Look at this. It's not on target. Now it is. Pinches it in. That was point-blank range inside of the post rebound from left. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, it sounds like he's underwater, exactly. Or inside a miniature hair dryer. That's what came to mind. That's the only thing I could think of. Justin having to lean back to get this one started, but get it started is exactly what he's done. This time Lethemir is in the way, solidly. How do you watch the Google Drive RLCS files Clyde tweeted? You need to put them into your replay folder, which is Rocket League, or it's My Documents, my games, t uh, Rocket League TA game replays. Follow that file path in your PC, drag the replays into that folder, and then they'll show up in your own game. Justin looking good again, but Lethemir is equal to him. What Justin is doing differently this game is he's not trying to be too fancy. He's just putting really, really fast air dribbles on the top shelf of Lethemir's goal, and he's seeing if Lethemir can respond in time, which, you know, three times this game has not been uh, the case. The left is going for much higher difficulty things, which you know takes the ball out of Justin's court and more into Lethemir's court. Look at this, so Justin's control is just otherworldly. Always able to find himself completely under the ball and then just turn himself into a human seal. Lethemir not quite as close to the car, but still following suit with the dunk. We'll play this game and one more, I think. Um, just to give you guys a bit more of a showcase. We've seen some incredible goals from Lethemir this game alone. But Justin is in the lead, and the mind game is going to go past Leth. 
He's gone top shelf so many times in a row that now Leth is expecting it. And he'd look how far back he's sitting in the goal. And then he panics last second. He's like, oh, Justin's gonna, he's going to accelerate this. He's going to get this over me. I've got to jump. And instead, it goes underneath him. Are they like to shadow and goal or defend off the wall? For air dribbles, yes. Because, I mean, air dribbling or going on the back wall for air dribbles is not really a huge advantage. Oh, Lethemir is going to feel robbed because, of course, he could have put that in. But rebounds or rather second tries are not allowed. A save is a save. Yeah, back wall defending in, in air, air dribble 1v1 is not always that good because the air dribbler can always adapt to what he's doing if he sees where you are. And if he sees you coming in high, he could just block you down low. Look at this, Justin leans back into this one to dunk it below Lethemir, who was tackling above the crossbar height. That's a really impressive showing by Justin. Good adaptation to counter Lethemir's defense at the end of the game. Lethemir is still, though, with the two best goals of the series, honestly. The crossbar rebound and the inside of the post rebound for point-blank range. And a good bit of sportsmanship there from Lethemir setting up Justin to guarantee that we're going to see one more cross-map air dribble attempt and then just to save it as well. Maybe he just wanted to give himself a bigger chance to have another attempt. He's trying to keep this up. Not going to manage, though. And that'll be Justin taking a game fair and square. Oh, hold on. I've frozen the screen, haven't I? Let me freeze it one more time real quick. All right, Lethemir's ready for more, though. He's not happy with how, how that went. He knows he probably scored the best of the, of the, or the best goals. But he wants to take a W. That's what he wants. Oh, whoops. I've okay, you guys didn't see that, but I did the score wrong. Whoopsie. That'll do. All right. Will Justin give the first shot to left? He will indeed. Oh, now it's Justin with the default camera. Sorry for... Hold on. I'll type after we took a look at this replay. I was just hoping that this would be a rubbish air dribble and that I could just tell Justin that he's in default camera glitch, but then Lethemir got those two extra touches and took it over the top of him. Uh, Justin, can you do the one degree... Uh, I can't type. Alright, I've told him, but we're going to have to watch one air dribble without it. It's fine when he's moving. Oh, last second save by left. What up, Yummy Cheese, man? By the way, Yummy, I was going to do a couple of uh, joint or, you know, joint VOD reviews this time around. I'll say thank you so left knows he's done it. Like, uh, once RLCS put their YouTube videos up of the, um, of the RLCS games on YouTube, I think I'm going to do, like, VOD reviews, shared screen VOD, not shared screen, like sync video VOD reviews. Do you want to do one? Do you fancy it? Chiefs versus NRG, maybe. Oh, that's so smart. Justin again goes under Lethemir. He's so good at mixing it up and reacting to the movements of the goalkeeper. He's just waiting, waiting. Are you going to jump? Okay, I see you jump in. Get out of the way. So smart by, by Justin. Because Lethemir is so difficult to beat when he's in goal. One of the, one of the best goalies in the world in a 1v1 scenario. Certainly just one of the best goalkeepers full stop. Because he is a great threes player as well. But Justin is finding ways around that by blocking and dunking on all angles. Uh, Uncle Falma, he did no, he did come back on stream, but not uh, recently. He's just been focusing on making his own content, I think. He wants to monopolize, which is fine. I mean, he, he did stop uploading for a while. I think that's when he wanted to come back on my stream to, you know, get back into the into people's into the viewers attention um, you want to do small replay now so happy to join you provide the valuable content that's what I like to hear dude that's what I like to hear I mean we could do one on your channel as well if you want we could do like um, one on one on my channel one on yours if you, if you want to do that there's the energy series and the C9 series were both really good all know how much I need content, I know. The only Rocket League community YouTuber to do daily uploads. See that, the sound is so weird. Did Sionics change something about the sound? When people are doing spins midair, their boost sounds like it's gone inside, like, or underwater, as somebody said earlier. I like the mirror. He's gonna try to slow this down. He's struggling to get 
as good reactions to what Justin is doing in goal compared to what Ju how Justin is reacting to Lethemir's goalkeeping. I think Justin has had the better like, planning. He's going low again. This time Lethemir stays on the ground. I, wouldn't, I would not be surprised if we see Justin go high on the next air dribble to try and get past Lethemir once again. They're always messing something up. I wouldn't be surprised if Sionics have changed something to do with the sounds because I've not heard that before. That sort of weird... So, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it better than it sounds underwater when somebody's air dribbling. Listen. It just doesn't sound like Alpha Boost anymore. And it's going to be high from Justin. Oh, it's just going to go in. What a block from Justin. I knew he was going to go high after he realized how effective Lethemir's low saves were. But Lethemir just couldn't keep it out. That's really impressive by Justin to block, get solid enough of a hitbox on that ball to get it past left, who was pretty much dead on. He was in the perfect position, but the difference was he wasn't moving. Oh, left the mirror. Now he's trying to give it the exact same medicine right back to Justin. He's, gonna, he's setting up Justin again. Oh, what's this? Left the mirror. He's just going to give the ball to Justin. There we go. Okay, the left the mirror. He kind of hit the ball at the wall, and he thought, oh, no, no, that's not fair. What if Justin wanted to do an air dribble from midfield? That's not fair. I'm going to give it back. So that's sportsmanship from left the mirror. I like that. So many spins from Justin. And the rebound. Are you kidding me? Lethemir had the best goal in game two, but this just takes the kick. Are you kidding me, Justin? With the 1080 spin into the rebound, the whole time the ball is just spinning. It's like a basketball player on his finger. <laughs> this guy really is the best in the world at the moment. I really do believe so. And he's just done well enough to keep out Lethemir's low block as well. I thought Lethemir was going to be the, the one whose defense would shine, but Justin's air double defense has been just as good this series. No question about it. And here he comes again. He's going for a different style of setup. I mean, he could do whatever he wants. It's always going to work. And Lethemir is staying within two. He wants, he wants a W. He needs a win here. Or I think he needs a goal here, rather, if he wants to have a chance. Is he going for the rebound again? No, just going for the, the block. The big squash attempt, but no luck this time. And I did expect to see some different types of setups from Justin. Maybe a bounce setup off the ground, maybe a setup off the back wall, but it's pretty much always been side wall midfield. He's just very confident in that setup. Starting pretty much bang on the halfway line on the side wall. Sometimes going to the ceiling, sometimes coming off early. That's Justin's, that's his sweet spot. And he's great pre-jump. He saw Lethemir going for the backboard again and he got the block. Lethemir is, <laughs> Lethemir is trying to get in the way here. I'm not sure if he's still... Oh, he, double, oh, he wants a double dribble. Yeah, Lethemir I think has given up here on the W. And that's going to be GG's. Justin just too good despite Lethemir's best efforts. Despite some incredible rebound goals from Lethemir himself, he was just not able to, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the best in the world. Oh, floor pinch just wide. And that's going to be all she wrote. Lethmir visibly frustrated with how good Justin is at air dribbling. And GG's it is. Much appreciation to these guys for swinging by for the show. Shoe hens on uh, Sionix have been me again. Are you? I'll say one more. So if, if one of them streams after, I'll be sure to host them because this is uh, bonus, bonus material. We're in, we're in for a treat, guys. Uh, Justin's already taken it 2-0. No way for Lethemir to catch up. He did win the, the foul game as well. He won the game, which he accidentally scored two goals that weren't air dribbles. Is it? Are you serious? Leth, one FOV, by the way. <laughs> Not sure why this keeps happening. Thanks. All right. So we're all set. If anybody wondering what that is, that's just a 1FOB change to fix the default camera glitch. Justin off the sidewall once again. He's going for all the way, just straight line. He doesn't care about Lethemir. He's just decided on his path and he's stuck to it. And I think Lethemir just went through the ball or something. Oh, he tried to come off the inside of the crossbar. <laughs> Lethemir came off the inside of the crossbar and he tried to kind of scoop it out, but it just went clean over the top of him. I knew Lethemir must have done something funny there, because that was a bit too easy. It was just straight in. I would not expect that to beat Leth. Oh, he's going low, and this time he does have Justin beat. Lethemir really needed that, because he's been he's been trying this quite a few times, and every time Justin gets 
barely enough on it to keep it out the net. And of course, in this mode, whenever you do keep it out the net, that's it, it's your possession. Doesn't matter if the other player's in a position to score. After after the fact, they're, can't, they're not allowed to go for it. It's gonna be tough to air dribble this one on target. Oh, it's just into a catch, but Justin knows that is uh, not gonna work out. He's giving up on it. Lethemir's giving him another chance though. Off the ceiling, flip reset was successful. A good read by Leth, I thought that that might be him, but he read it all the way. Pure prediction there. And he's slowing himself down, trying that back forward rebound again, is Lethemir. That's had, you know, a fair amount of success. I'm not at all against Lethemir trying that a few more times at least. Oh, but he's already on the wall. Justin might go low. Instead, Justin stayed pretty high. I'm surprised not to see Justin just stop touching the ball. Let it drop as low as possible. Try and catch Lethemir off guard. Since he was already on the wall. Alright, let's see what Leth has in store. I'm, I'm expecting backboard, surely. That's been his most successful shot. Oh, he sees the pre-jump though. Oh, almost slows it down sufficiently to drop it in the top corner. I think that may have started off as a backboard attempt. Oh, wow. Justin now flops completely. Again, these guys, they're starting to look toward each other where the other player is. And they're trying to avoid him. And that time, I think Justin saw left in the backboard. And he's like, oh, I need to go low. And then he just went panic too low entirely. Crossbar, no rebound for left. He just really wants a game here. That's all, all he wants. He's defending a lot better now. But does that matter when you're against Justin? And he can put the last second manipulation on the ball. It's like, am I finished? No, just kidding. I'm actually not done here. <laughs> I'm not done. Top corner is where we're going. It's crazy. You don't realize how difficult it is to defend against this until you sit in goal and try. And then you realize that Justin is just insane. And he's from another world. Now Lethemir's able to snipe the top corner though. Justin a bit careless, trying to intercept early. When the boost goes behind your car, your car blocks you from hearing your own boost. That's not always been in the game though, I'm pretty sure. I think that might be a new thing, or at least... I've never noticed that before. And maybe it has been in the game the whole time, but I've certainly never noticed it. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Left on the back wall. Justin, is he gonna go low to counter? But actually, coming off the wall like a peregrine falcon there. Straight down. You think Justin is your son? That's something I would really hope you were more confident of than, you know. I would want, I would want to hear a more confident uh, word than think in that context. Justin, I, I, I think though that he's got this game in the bag. He's just looking too solid. And despite Lethemir's best efforts, the mix up and the consistency of Justin is just too hard to beat at this point. Every time he's he's doing something different. He's going, you know, high to the back post top corner, this time near post with a dunk following it up. I mean, there's no perfect position to defend against all of these different shots. You've just got to kind of pick one and hope for the best. Lethemir, he's looking to go low again. Justin this time able to block it. Lethemir. Given some extra time here by Justin to go back. Who's still off that side wall of the midfield every single time back wall oh my goodness the back post top corner threatened once again so close it doesn't look like justin's going to be anywhere near you think okay he's taking this one way too far wide never mind it's hit the inside of the post somehow it's ridiculous the last second manipulation like no one else in the world at least that i've seen again it's just so consistent he might have dropped this one a little bit too soon but you know honestly that catch was on target. That catch was on target, in my opinion. If Lethemir hadn't come in and intercepted exactly at that moment. Crossbar for Leth. He was on target for the rebound, but Justin counters with an interception of his own. Lethemir with the turtle tackle. <laughs> yeah, I saw I thought I, I thought I saw Lethemir flying past there. That's a bit of ceiling impact there. Try to get it to land on himself while turtling is Justin. It's very hard to, you know, have the ball impact the ceiling and then follow up with an air dribble. I don't think I need to tell you guys that. Lethemir, big block, but Justin is equal to it. I think it's, yeah, it's crossbar. No need for Justin to panic. Devo versus Justin, air dribble only. I don't know if Justin, if Devo can air dribble. Are you serious? Justin, no, 
Not the turtle into air dribble. Oh my goodness, that would have been something else. The turtle set up. And then top corner was the final destination, Lethemir. Turned out he was a station along the way and managed to halt the train before it got there. That would have been incredible. The turtle set up. Lethemir, I think you should just let that one in. Is he going to do it again? Here he comes again, turtling. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He can do this consistently? No way! Justin! I just want to point out, in case this gets clipped and you guys only see this one, he's done this twice in a row, and he he was on track for the top corner twice in a row. Lethemir saved the first one. <laughs> Justin in Discord says, let me score whenever he does something cool. That's <laughs> just incredible from Justin. How does he do it? Two times in a row, back to back. 2017, 2017 air dribble or turtle air dribble setup. Let me with that cheeky little catch to bring it back within one. I don't know if he's going to get a chance to equalize. We'll, we'll see. That was a really good catch by Lethemir though. Check that out. Nice turnaround. Yeah, the two time back to back. 2017, 2017 turtle air dribble setup. World champion. It is going to be Lethemir. Justin's given him the chance to tie the game on zero seconds here he comes he's going top corner oh he's got the post and it's in Lethemir needed that last touch to get it across the line and he's done it Justin was up Lethemir squashes it across the line to counter the early pre-jump we're going to have one more goal Justin in regulation time he needs to carry it here or else it's going to touch the ground on zero I mean, if he can start an air dribble turtle, and I'm pretty sure he can start it by ball carrying. Here he comes again, far post. This time it will grind and let them here. That might be pretty smart, actually. He gave Justin the, well, I mean, knowing that Justin will have the first shot. Oh, actually, Justin's like, nah, we can fight for this one. <laughs> Overtime with the possession resets. This is mine. My ball, because he gave he gave Lethemir two in a row to tie, and he's like, no, 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 give me two in a row, give me two in a row. I can hear it in Discord. He's coming off the wall. We all want to we all wanted to see it. Here it comes again. Bit of ceiling involved as well. Why not? Justin's insane. He tried to catch it while turtling as well. He needs a title. Forget Turbo Pulse. He's two-time world champion title. He needs a two-time title for a far more important thing. Lethemir almost able to rebound that one in. It would have been pretty tough in that angle. How much has the skill ceiling been raised in Star Wars Season 1? Oh, ridiculously. And will it go much higher? Yes. I mean, look at what we're seeing today. Do you see this in an everyday Rocket League game? No, you don't. <laughs> you don't. Is everybody's air control as good as Justin's? Is everybody's defense as good as Lethemir's? I don't think so. So there's still plenty of plenty of uh, skill to improve on. Lethemir looking to take the last game, though, still. This will be the last game for me, because I do need to head to bed. I want to be streaming earlier tomorrow, and it's now 1 o'clock in the morning. Oh, no! Is this how it's going to end? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Justin, he just wants to set up his air dribble, but Lethemir has pinched it into him, and it's fallen into his net. GG's. I think it, I think it does count. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that game though <laughs> oh that was fun GG's Lethemir wasn't able to take any of the games I mean we had some shenanigans in game 4 and game 1 but <laughs> it was certainly fun to watch big thanks to Lethemir and Justin for coming and playing for it Justin 216 ping not sure why that has happened but uh, that's going to be it for me, guys. I'm just going to run some ads to end the stream and then look for somebody to host.